cyanobacteria is good and bad. Before we really get started, you are probably thinking, what the heck is cyanobacteria? Cyanobacteria are single-celled organisms that live in fresh, brackish, and marine water. Did you know that cyanobacteria is the reason that we got oxygen when the world is formed? As cyanobacteria grows, it makes oxygen. Cyanobacteria uses photosynthesis to grow, so with the right conditions, it keeps on growing. So what are these ways that they are good and bad? Let's start with the good. Cyanobacteria can be sprayed on sand or loose dirt particles to make it where other plants can thrive. Cyanobacteria is toxic, but by controlling it, we can use it to help us greatly. Chung Siang Hu of the Chinese Academy of Sciences Institute of Hydrobiology in Wuhan has developed an approach for keeping deserts from spreading. When looking to keep sand in place, hardy grasses may work, but the wind can still blow away the sand between the grasses. When cyanobacteria is sprayed on these loose particles, it spreads and creates a thick, crusty foam right on the top of these particles. After being left on for some time, it starts to make an environment that helps other organic life like plants grow. Just as I said earlier, it needs the right conditions to grow, so with the sun it will stay alive but not spread on sand. By doing the right things, we can take advantage of these good effects to help a healthy environment. Now let's look at the bad reasons. Cyanobacteria produces a toxin that attacks the liver and can make you extremely sick. Some cyanohabs, harmful algae blooms, produce toxins that are among the most powerful natural poisons known. These toxins have no known antidotes. Symptoms of swallowing cyanobacteria infected water are runny eyes and noses, a sore throat, asthma-like symptoms, or in some cases allergic reactions, severe diarrhea and vomiting. Symptoms of liver poisoning are abdominal pain and diarrhea and vomiting. If not swallowed but touch or contact occurs, you may have rashes, hives, and blisters. Numb toes and tingling may also be felt. Cyanobacteria also blocks out sunlight for other fish and plants under the bloom, making it a dead zone. To prevent this from happening, make sure any water you come in contact with does not smell, doesn't taste funny, or seem to be a different color. Really, look at the chemicals that golf courses use for making the grass look good. Now let's look at what those chemicals do to those little ponds that hoard on lucky golf balls. Cyanobacteria has positive and negative characteristics. We have the potential to take advantage of the positive effects like regrowing oxygen in the atmosphere and making it so that in sandy areas, plants can thrive. If we are careful enough not to have any contact, cyanobacteria will help our environment a lot. Thank you for listening.